great thing happening. It's, uh, a lot of heart and spirit going into this movement, and I think people are awakening to the issues that have been there for years and years. What nation are you from? I am Iranian, Persian. Iranian, Persian, okay. So what are your thoughts of the, what I just talked about, Stephen Harbour trying to change our uh, treaty rights in Canada for First Nation people? Uh, I think um, he should be more fair, you know, and the contract, the agreement uh, is important. You know, when they add something in that agreement, they should obey it. You know, I think uh, all people do that. Yeah. So it's like, say we went to Iran yeah. and we went to change your co agreements over there. Well, you wouldn't like that, right? Yeah, people protest about it. Oh, yeah. It is normal. In my country, if something was the agreement and the government or uh, other country changes, people protest about it. So, do you agree with the First Nations people here? Why not? You know, yeah. this is their home. You know. Yeah. They should keep it. I think uh, more is like a vision. It's been. Uh, some sisters got together and they were always focused on the land and the waters. But their vision was to build uh, um, unity and uh, awaken the young people and to to make them remember that uh, that we always have connection to Mother Earth. So when you say land and water, what does that mean? Like. Well, we have to stop a lot of things, destructions that are happening to Mother Earth, like the tar sands, mining, logging, uh, land raping, um, even these bills that, that the Harper gov Conservative government that is uh, bringing upon um, this country, of, even to the Canadians, even the Canadians will be affected by these bills um, when it, because it affects the water. Yeah. And it's, it's giving gateways to just letting any kind of uh, pipelines come through uh, without any consultations of, of um, our people. And um, if you really want to get in depth with things, a lot of these decisions that this government, any government has made on based on land resources are nil and void because the, the true consul, uh, consulting should have been done with the real title holders, and that's the women <clears throat> in each territory. They're, they're, we're the ones that decide on what should happen with Mother Earth. Yeah. So <clears throat> this thing with uh, Stephen Harper um, trying to change the treaty, uh, what, do, what do you feel about that? Well, first of all, uh, we um, our people have treaties with uh, the Crown, and that's with the, the Queen of England. So really, the the treaties are um, are not with the Canadians, are not with Canada. So, um, and he's just a servant of the Queen. Harper's just a servant of the Queen, and that he is um, breaking a lot of the treaties, and that to me is treason. So, so if he is trying to break those treaties, shouldn't he go back to where he comes from then, if we break ours? Well, it just shows uh, the mentality of this uh, government, the way it treats our people. There is no respect of not only us, but any people, because any kind of destruction that's done to Mother Earth is going to affect everybody. It's not just going to affect our people, but because we're the original people of this land, our ancestors are here, but also it's our responsibility to be vocal for this earth, to be vocal for the waters and creation. That's that's what Creator gave us, that responsibility. So we have to, if, when my children are older and, and, and they can say that their mom and their aunties defended the land. So <clears throat> when, um, when Harper is not meeting with Chief Spence, Teresa Spence. What do you feel about that? Why? Is, what is your feelings towards this this uh, head of supposed to be head of Canada? To why isn't he taking the time to meet with Chief Spence? Well, again, it goes back to racism. It shows that Harper and his conservative government has always been a racist government to this country. Uh, if you look in the history of, of, of the conservative gar government, there's always been a dead Indian. There's Dudley George of, of Ipperwash, there's Connie and Ty Jacobs of Satina, who were killed by RCMP. Uh, there's been many, um, you know, even when uh, Gustaf and Lake, uh, uh, where they stood up for the Sundance. So there's a lot of uh, uh, racism from that any kind of government. So what do you think that if, if Chief Theresa Spence dies in all this standing up for the rights of our people, 
what do you think is going to happen after she, if she does pass away from starvation? Well, first of all, um, I'd like to acknowledge her for for what she's doing. It's something that I wouldn't do, but it's, she's she's taken that it's her path. It's her path to to take that that uh, commitment to go for our people. But it also again shows the disrespect to our women, because in this country there's a war on our women and a genocide of missing and murdered women in this whole continent. That that is not even brought to the forefront. We have some women that did bring it to the forefront, but they're even being belittled. Because the truth is that that Harper cannot accept that there's a genocide here in this country. And if, if, if she passes away, I mean, like there's a lot of people praying for her, and there's a lot of uh, people going to her and, and being by her side. I mean, Chickadee and I just actually went to go visit, to go see how she was, but we went in as a sisterhood. We didn't go in as uh, supporting the chiefs or anything. We went there to support a sister, a fellow sister who is, who is taking drastic measures to, to uh, bring attention to this government that, that never listens to our women. Because in this country, you can cut up a woman who's pregnant, dispose of her in the river, never to be found. Children are in care more than residential school has ever been and today, in this day and age. So there's a lot of things that are still happening. And then to let a woman starve, to let a woman to actually starve, someone's mother, someone's grandmother, someone's daughter, someone's auntie, they're letting her starve. Why on, where is the compassion? Doesn't this Harper government have uh, children? Don't they have a grandma or a mom? You know, like, there is no, I don't know, there's there's no heart in that, whatever he is. So if it was, um, just for example, if it was a person picketing and rallying about their wage cut, and they do it for uh, two weeks, usually the government will answer them. But why is it that our people can, can rally and protest against uh, our treaty rights, a, a, a legal agreement document that was signed in 1871 to be tampered with and changed? What, does it, what do you feel about that? Um, like how can this person, uh, the government answer these picketers and not our, our people? Because it still stems down to racism. That is a known fact in, in, in this country that there's racism and that it, that everyday Canadians should question what, what is happening. Even like the, the uh, postal workers and the union workers, even they don't even get listened to their government. You look at the KXL pipeline, the ranchers don't even get listened to. That's their government and they don't even hear them. Mm -hmm. So it's like one of my sisters from Pine Ridge said, uh, the ranchers today are like the Indians because they, they're crying now saying what about what am I going to do for my grandchildren they're going to have no land why my grandfather's worked here forever well now they know how we felt mm -hmm. now but but now for them their government doesn't listen to them they need us now because they know that we have connection to this land yeah well, sorry I'm not trying to get my face in the, in the thing there but uh, uh, I just want to say something Canada's government is uh, based on a lie. Their foundation is based on a lie. You know, all the things that they did to trick our people, even into the treaties, you know, it's, it's all about trying to um, take the lands away from us. Because they knew how rich the, the land was. So even their, their policies and legislations is based on lies, and that's what's dividing our people, because um, they put that on, on you know, the, the settlers, and settlers start to believe that we're, we're uh, you know, we're disconnected from our lands. We're not disconnected. The government is disconnected. That's my policy.